Hello, everybody. I'm your host today, General of Four Star, being recorded by Rocky from the Bowtime Bros. Yes. What you see behind me is a medieval starter hut that you can put on any of your worlds, and it'll be very easy to do. And this is why I'm here today, is to give a tutorial how to make it. Okay. Now let's get to business. Now let me show you actually what you need for this build. What you're gonna need is a spruce door, a spruce plank, a spruce stair, spruce slabs, spruce trap door, spruce fence, spruce gate, campfire, cobblestone wall, cobblestone stair, cobblestone, mossy cobblestone, stone brick, and a blast furnace, and possibly a smoker. Now, if you want to come over here, this is some other items you may want to put into the interior. A flower pot, a chest, a crafting table, a bed, any color you like, and a cauldron. Now, this is all you need for your build. Very simple, very easy resources. Now, let's get to the floor plan. Now, this is be needing. It's a very simple circle design, and it also has an extension to the left side of the build. Now, first you want to grab your cobblestone. You want to put the cobblestone three high in circular formation like this. Going three, one, three, one. Okay, after you've done this, now you add where the door will be. After you've done this, go ahead, fill inside the build with your spruce planks, like so. Okay, after you've done this method, you should have something like this. After you have something like this, you want to grab your spruce wood stairs. This is when the roof comes in. Very easy. You're going to do two upside down stairs like this. You're going to go like this with your upside down stairs. Make it a corner piece. And then you're going to continue this method around the entire building. Now, you should have something like this. Now, after you have this, you need to grab your spruce slabs and fill in the gaps between the stairs that have like so. Now, you like this. Now, now you want to grab your spruce wood planks and you want to go around everywhere you see cobblestone. Alright, like so. Now, then you want to grab your spruce wood slabs and go on the edge of your planks like so. After you're done, you should have a square in the middle of your build. This means you're doing this correctly. Now, we'll grab your spruce wood planks again, making a square formation is still. After you've done this, grab your spruce slabs fill in the middle and you should have one small block gap in the middle and after you've done this go ahead and fill that in make a circular for put this and then that you should have a shape like this okay go back and add texture to our building you want to grab your mossy cobblestone, some stone brick, and some stone. Go around your build, texturing up a little bit, giving it a nice medieval kind of run down kind of shape, uh, place to it. Okay. At the end that around your build, you want to grab your spruce trap doors. We'll be texturing up the roof. Put your trap doors and spread them around around your build like this. 
So I kind of give it a rundown look about your build. After you've done this, you should have something like this. Now, you want to grab your cobblestone walls. From this corner of the house, you want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. On the fifth block, put some cobblestone walls. You want to go up 3 high, like so. After you now, after you've placed cobblestone walls going three high, grab your campfire, and you want to go in a formation like this, to where it and it should connect to the wall like so. You should have three in the middle, and then one outside. And you should be able to connect to one like so to that corner piece and then you can maybe fill it in grab a splash water bottle or water bucket and extinguish done this you should have something like this this means you continue to do this correctly now right here you want to grab your cobblestone, bossy cobblestone brick, and stone, and your stone brick stairs. We're going to do the chimney. You want to leave a one gap, like so, leaving, texturing this, and you want to make this go up about here. After having something like this, I'm going to come back down here. We're going to have two on the side, like so. We're going to break one right here, one right here, having this, and this, having space like this. And then you want to grab your blast furnace, or you may use any type of other furnace you like, but I recommend using blast furnace and putting in the gap. After you've done this method, come up and re-add your campfires. This will fill in the gap here and extinguish it like this. After you've done this, add a campfire to the top and then grab some of your trap doors and then put it on the edge of your campfire and you have yourself a chip. You should have something like this. Now, to add more detail to the overhang, for some people you may already be able to go and place the fences, but for me I must have to put a block under, but do it like this and put fence gates under the edges of the overhang. You should have something like this. This gives it detail, and this makes it look really nice. Now, to add a little bit more detail to the house, you want to grab your spruce fences, and everywhere you see an overhanging stair such as this, with a gap in the middle with the spruce slab, you want to put yourselves some spruce fences. Making it look like there's some support and some detail. And don't add any on the left side. You should ha continue to have this. After you have a, a build like this, you may go on ahead and add your spruce door. Go to inside and place the door like so. And then you have yourself your build. Now to add some lighting in your build, you want to grab some lanterns. 
or maybe even torches if you like. I consider lanterns. And you want to do this and to fix some of the roof or to even add more texture. You want to re-grab your spruce slabs and go around adding some roughness like so and then you have yourself your house now if you want to see some interior design come over here your interior now to show you what we did with the smoker you want to grab your cobblestone walls again and grab a smoker or even just a regular furnace if you like come in here and then you may add Grab, make sure you grab some, uh, your, put your smoker here. Some I, I like to use stairs as well, and it's a little, but you may be able to do it like this. And then now you have a place. Now you want to take that cobblestone out and place a wall like this. And then now you have a place for your smoker. This is all you need to have for your bill. And you have yourself a survival hut. Easy and simple. Now, if you like these videos, go in the comment section down below and tell me what you would like to see next. And also, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching the Bowtime Bros again. I'll see you next time. Yes, sir. Bye.